We had a dream that we had to create something good at Double Bay. When you see people that have been in business for 30 years, um, that is extremely unique. 30 years they've been at the top of the game. It's, un it's unbelievable. I can't even stay at the gym for 30 days. Longevity of relationship is something that doesn't necessarily happen that much. You can blow smoke up all you like about the th this having this event and things like that. They should be recognised. They should be. It is a great credit to both of them that this has happened. And here on their 30th anniversary, they're standing here proud and just with as much energy as they had on the very first day. We were just energised. I think we were young and really excitable. And Hungry, keen. Yeah. I walked in to the new business with really no expectations. I just wanted to, to achieve. I was 28 years old. Uh, just had a new baby. We were rocking and rolling. We didn't take any salary for a year. They were bright young boys with a new idea on how to sell. It was a challenge and I took it on as a challenge. It wasn't uh, glamorous at that stage. It was just a two-storey terrace and uh, Craig in those days did a little bit of development but mainly only property management and Michael tried to fit in between. And I went into the office and I said, Craig, it's time for you to become a salesperson. He said, no, no, That's no. Right. I just want to be a property manager. I can't be a salesperson. I'll be no good. And I lost it. But I don't lose it. He's seen me lose it, what, three times? Three maybe? times in 39 years. It's not bad. I grabbed him by the shirt, I pushed him over the desk, and I said, you're going to be a salesman, and that's it. Because I'd already spent time with people from the other company that came and knocked on our door and said, Mike, we want to work with you and Craig. We had an instant team overnight. Within a week to 10 days, we had four or five salespeople. There was Mike, there was Craig, there were, you know, Lil, and myself and David. They were very, very small sales team. There's an old saying about the cold wind of, the cold wind of disaster blowing up your, uh, what's the name? And we definitely had the cold wind of disaster. Uh, we were going hard. Because we were so uh, determined to do well, because we really loved what we were doing and trying to carve out a future in those early days. Very quickly, they were achieving some fantastic listings. And even better were the testimonials that were coming from the work they did on those listings. They became our number one office immediately. They've sown their personal characteristics throughout the DNA of the organisation. Michael and Craig have a culture of honesty. I think the culture of the business is the success of the business. You're never an outsider. It's never like that. They're very engaging in their voice. It's, it's part of the team culture that they try to they try to breed. Most of the last 30 years for me particularly have been focused around what goes on here. And you know, th these guys become part of our family as well. Michael and Craig went out of their way to build a team that was supported. Well, Mike and Craig to me are like my adopted godfathers. When I started working for them, I was only young and I had a young family at the time. Um, and they were always there. And we all get inspired by Michael because he's an optimist. He led the way with our whole uh, generation. And I think Craig uh, will probably attest to that as well. Michael was my first mentor. Uh, I, I was basically the first salesperson that Michael had mentored that had been um, quite a big success in the early days. I can sort of almost point to someone in every office that has been trained by our directors. I had natural instincts about leading people and training people, but never tried and tested. As time went on, I picked up on the fact that I had this skill about being able to read people, understand them, being empathetic towards them, and I loved it. I actually got a buzz out of seeing someone achieve, even the smallest things. He's changed my life working with Michael. That sort of attitude of the motivation and, and, and that determination, I think, leads from the top down. The skill of leadership is, is second to none. They have set such clear standards. For the boys to have been able to create the team that they've done in the, in the type of business that we're in, uh, it's been pretty amazing. Look, and we've also got to try and have a bit of fun. You know, and we've got to celebrate success and it's always great for me when, when we have the Ray White Awards nights and, and you know, all the guys and girls from our office get dressed up and it's a fantastic evening to share those successes that they've had during the year. Elliot, for instance, I came here when he was 21. Michael and Craig saw the potential of Elliot as a young person. And he became a very successful real estate agent through that mentoring and that support. We both believed that Elliot was the right guy to step up, take our business to the next level. You've got to have someone that 
that, that has that level of confidence to be able to do what we do. He's very driven, very knowledgeable. And you've got to talk to Elliot for five minutes to work that out. I'm really proud of the way he stepped up. Probably was a little bit quiet as a, as a, a partner in the beginning, but as I've sort of, over the years, I've become more vocal and more, more really visionary around the direction and the opportunities. All done, all finished, and all silent at $751,000. Fiona and Adam, congratulations! Yeah! Mike and Sam and his family especially, and Sue, mm. we've, um, we've grown really close with over the years. Yeah. But I became very close to Michael. We, uh, in fact, we're having dinner next week. He makes you feel like you're really special. What isn't he good at in this game, you know? He's, he's on top of his game and um, we're all happy for him. The thing that struck me about Michael and Craig is um, after we'd done a transaction, they kept in touch. I know it sounds like I'm um, pumping him up too much, but it's true. He tries to do in his heart what's the right thing by everybody, if he possibly can. They trusted us at a time that we had no presence, really. We, we were coming out of the ground. What we wanted to do is just repay their trust in us. So the directors in this business have always been one of, um, we'll all succeed together. And I know he will hate me calling him a big teddy bear, but he's sort of, that's what he's like. I feel like I'm being too complimentary to them, actually. When I first started, um, I go back, Craig um, actually had some hair. If you see photos of me 30 years ago, you'll know 30 years has definitely gone, <laughs> I haven't aged that well. <laughs> I don't want it all to look like beer and Skittles, like they've given me a once round the table a few times. Look, I really enjoy hearing the stories of Michael's holidays because they're getting more and more extravagant as Eastern Suburbs real estate goes up in price. So down the park, running around, but they're in their Zimmer frames. But besides that, you know, we're. We hang out, I go visit them at uh, Montefiore. Craig decided he wanted a water taxi, but didn't necessarily want to walk down the ramp to the water taxi. I've been kissed on the ass by a fairy. You know, when he made the leap, we weren't too sure whether we were going to have Craig for too much longer, but uh, he actually jumped like a frog. He landed on his feet. Quite frankly, I put it down to the fact that they've, um, their revenue line has gone up um, in, in, in line with Eastern Suburbs real estate prices. So why would you ever dissolve the partnership? It's only going to get better for them. They've had 30 years of excellence, so good luck for the next 30 years, I say. That's a, a legacy that will exist beyond their, beyond their days. You've got a great springboard, you have a great business, but now, now let's, let's build an empire. There's no finishing line for, for Railway Double Bay. I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for you. You hear words like that, and there's no money in the world that can pay for that. Like seriously, to be working in the best marketplace in Australia, to be working in the number one business in Ray White, and to be working with some fantastic people, it's just a dream. I'm very thankful to Craig and Michael and Elliot. They are genuinely concerned about how this business may be in 10, 20 years' time, even though they themselves may not be there. Even though their achievements are wonderful and great today, I think they're going to even be in greater achievements as they go on. Bring it on. Bring on the next 30. The relationship's been magic. You know, Craig's got so many um, different things to me that he's good at. So why, don't, why don't we just call it? I like doing the fun things. He likes doing all the hard work. That's right. I still like taking the glory though, you know, that's more the point. Craig's crazy and he's so much fun to be with and <laughs> he lives for the day and that's been a real lesson for me. It's been a really good balance yeah. backwards and forwards. But we're always going to do it together. I, I don't think there'll be a time that we're not working together. 39 years later, we're still going on oh, holidays like together. A, seriously, it's like a marriage. It's about the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah, it's the truth. Yeah, there you go. Oh, really? I like the, you, so the nicest thing, huh? <laughs>